Hi Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for this week, December 8th to December 15th. Please bear in mind this is a general reading, it won't resonate for all Geminis out there, but if you want to book a personal one with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Also keep in mind the energy I pick up on can be vice versa and interchangeable if we're talking about someone around you. If it does resonate, Gemini, please give this video a like and subscribe so that I have more Gemini energy to work with. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your moon and your rising sign. Okay, let's start off as always with an oracle card for you to get the overall energy for the week. Then we'll look at what your challenge is, what you don't see coming. We'll pull you some moonology advice for the week and we'll finish off with some romance angels, okay? Gemini. One more shuffle. Okay, Gemini. What is the energy? What is the vibe for the week ahead? Okay, clear, concise messages, please, for my Gemini collective. What's the energy? What's the vibe? Thank you. That was quick. Okay. All right, nice. So we have attachment, Gemini, for your overall energy, okay? So this is, there's something that we need to let go of, basically. Now, this could be anything at this point. This could be a person, a situation, um, an addiction, an unhealthy habit, a thought process. It could be anything, and we'll see when we get into the tarot. But this is the overall energy, okay? There's something that we're holding on to that we don't need to hold on to anymore. If you have a look at the picture... One of her hands is, is chained, but the other one is free. She could free herself. Okay, so that's the energy. That The good news is that you don't have to stay attached to whatever this is. You absolutely have um, the freedom to detach yourself from it. And bottom of the deck, we do have Angel of Strength. Okay, so like I said, you have the ability, you have the strength within to let go of whatever this is for you. Okay, now let's jump into the tarot and clarify that energy. Let's see what this attachment is for Gemini. Get a couple shuffles. Gemini is the bomb.com. We don't have time to be held back by anything that doesn't serve us, right? Mm -mm. So let's see what this is for Gemini. Okay, so for some of you, just off bottom of the deck energy, this could be a need to let go of any kind of um, money pursuit or career situation that isn't fair or is dishonest, okay, just for some of you. Let's see. Please clarify this attachment energy for Gemini for this week, please. Clear, concise messages for Gemini. What is this attachment energy? Too many. Ooh, we're all attached to different things, right? Obviously. It's going to be different for each of you. But let's see what the general energy is. What is this attachment for Gemini? Thank you. Ooh, of course. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Okay. We have the devil, of course. This fella loves to show his face, I swear. <laughs> Gemini. So, some of you, if it's a person, could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But this, so, I'm getting the feeling that this is something that keeps you, obviously, restricted. It could, I'm definitely getting addiction vibes. Now, this could be addiction to a substance or addiction to a person or a situation. I just got for some of you, if you're like, if you're dealing with someone who you're sexually addicted to, right? This is for me, this is, excuse my French, devil dick or devil, you know, take it how it resonates. That could be someone that we need to let go of, our attachment to that. It's, it's, I'm going to have to clarify. This is a very strong energy though, Gemini. This is the overall energy for the week. This is the ultimate attachment to that which doesn't serve us. It's not nice. I don't like the devil energy. So let's clarify and see exactly what this is. Gemini, please. Please clarify this devil. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Oh, 
Oh, okay, okay. Right, we have you here, the lovers. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And we have Justice in reverse again, just like at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, for some of you, very clear message. We need to cut off someone. Possibly a romantic situation. Doesn't have to be. This could just be your energy here, okay? But you, Gemini, need to cut off someone or something that you're currently attached to that is either dishonest or unfair, not right. There's something you will know, Gemini, and it's going to be different for each of you. There's something that just isn't right. It's not in balance. It's not honest. It's not fair whatever that is for you, but you're attached to it, maybe even addicted to it, we need to let it go. Okay, we need to let it go. For some of you, you could be this person, if it's a person, could be someone who's very um, emotional, overly emotional, or very bitchy, very cold, or this could be what you need to do. For some of you, it's definitely a mindset with this at the bottom of the deck, your own self-limiting beliefs, right? We've been saying this for Gemini because you guys, your readings have been so amazing. You're in such a beautiful energy right now in your winning season, but this keeps popping up. But this is like this one more thing, one last thing that we need to get rid of. Let me clarify this Queen of Swords in reverse for Gemini, please. But trust me, this is a strong energy. I normally don't even spend this long on the overall energy but it's where it's taking me so let's keep going what is this queen of swords in reverse thank you okay well thank you okay again we have the ace of cups that came out of the bottom of the deck and then we have the hermit so could be dealing with a virgo if this is a person <laughs> I'm getting for some of you as well, this is a different story here. If you've recently entered into a new relationship, okay, or a new relationship is blossoming, some of you may be acting very cold towards this person and kind of going ghost on them, going into hermit mode, trying to turn your back on this new love or this new um, relationship of any kind. And that is actually what we need to let go of is that, that um that tendency in us to you know run as soon as things get too good you know that whole too good to be true thing that could be what this is your own beliefs your own mindset about this love for some of you okay yeah and for others of you we need to let go of whatever this devil energy is in order to allow in this new beginning Okay, so take it how it resonates. You will know what it is for you, Gemini, and it's going to be different for all of you. All I can say is it's someone or something that is either dishonest or unfair. Okay, or someone who's very bitchy. And we need to let that person go. Could be a Capricorn, could be another Gemini, could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be. Or... This is the way that we are treating this new relationship, this new connection, because of our um, toxic programming, our negative beliefs. And that's what we need to release in order to allow this new situation to blossom. Because we do have the Ace of Cups and the Lovers upright. Okay? So take that how it resonates. That's the overall energy for the week. Okay? Now, let's see what your challenge is. <laughs> if that isn't enough. For Gemini. What's the challenge this week? I'm going to get a couple shuffles. Okay. What is the challenge for Gemini this week, please? What is our challenge? Use my stomach. I'm sorry. I stay skipping breakfast for you guys. Whoa, a lot of cards. Okay, right. I see them. I see them. Give me a second because I'm on the floor. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, Gemini. 
your challenge this week is to get really clear on what we want could be related to the situation of attachment okay it doesn't have to be there's a there's a need here i feel like some of us are like overwhelmed by choices overwhelmed by different paths that we could take and there's really a need to pause for a minute and shift perspective get really clear on what we want and let go of any again limiting beliefs negative thoughts this is changing your perspective looking at a situation differently looking at your options differently instead of feeling restricted or feeling like you're running out of options this is opening your eyes maybe for example doing a gratitude list every morning writing down five things you're grateful for to really shift your perspective from lack and negativity to oh my god i actually have all these options this isn't so bad you know we're aiming for mental clarity but this is going to be your challenge this week okay so i definitely feel like this is connected to this attachment it's like whatever this attachment is it keeps you from seeing clearly it makes you think that you're restricted like i said but you're not one of her hands is free you do have the choice to free yourself and that's going to be the challenge this week but the challenge the way you do that is by shifting perspective pausing and also surrendering to the divine surrendering to a higher power right bottom of the deck we have the moon yeah i'm getting big vibes here of subconscious subconscious reprogramming we need to rewire the subconscious mind and this keeps coming up for you gemini it's an ongoing process right it's an ongoing process it's like so many blessings are coming in for you guys new love i see the ace of pentacles there new uh, money opportunities blessings galore for my beautiful gemini and it's just you know as with all of us it's a process we've all got self-limiting beliefs we've all got subconscious things that could do with a bit of rewiring and that's going to be your challenge this week okay to pause lots of meditation and shift our perspective on something release the limiting beliefs and get really clear get really clear some of you for others of you you may get some kind of communication this week okay from someone and it leaves you feeling overwhelmed by choices maybe this is communication from a new lover and you you find yourself in a position of having to choose between multiple um, love options it could be a job you get a, a job off on you have to choose between jobs it could be anything take it how it resonates okay but your challenge is going to be to really pause go within let go of any limiting beliefs and get really clear about what your personal values are about what is important to you what does success mean to you what does love mean to you what are you looking for in your career what are you looking for in a lover you know that kind of energy basically a lot of introspection that's going to be your challenge this week to quiet the mind to ignore all the noise and really get grounded and clear that's your challenge okay all right, what do we not see coming this week for Gemini? What's the surprise? What do we not see coming? Thank you. Oh, I see you. Nice. Okay. Whoa. Gemini, the energy is jumping, jumping for you. One sec there on the floor. Oh gosh, so many cards. Okay. First two that jumped out was the Empress and the Three of Swords in reverse. I love that. I really, really love that. So it's like interesting. What you don't see coming this week, funnily enough. For some of you, it could be you deciding to forgive someone or something or someone deciding to forgive you and you don't see it coming. For others of you, something is manifesting massively this week. Okay, this could be money. This could be a new love. Something manifesting that you did not expect and suddenly you feeling really optimistic again. It's really, really beautiful. I love it. 
And I love that you don't see it coming. Libra has shown up again. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, there's this energy here this week. It's like you have you have this aha moment. You know, when you wake up one day and you're like, Do you know what? This just doesn't bother me anymore anymore for some reason. It doesn't bother me. I'm no longer worried. I'm no longer in pain. I've no longer got anxiety. I'm feeling really optimistic all of a sudden, you know? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I think it happens when you have this aha moment. You have this realisation that you had the answers within all along. That's why your challenge this week is to really go within. Quiet the mind. Like I said, be still. Get clear. Because when you do, you don't see this beautiful energy coming. As soon as you realise, oh my God, the answer was within me all along. All I had to do was quiet my mind and go within and listen to my higher self. Listen to my intuition. All of a sudden, it's like everything clears up. I love this energy, Gemini. And you wake up and you're like, I'm over it. Or my perspective has done a 180. I see clearly again. I feel optimistic again. I've got a new opportunity, a manifestation. Growth this week. Growth. You're, you're, it's like taking a massive leap in your self-development this week and you don't even see it coming. That's what's so beautiful. Love it, Gemini. Love it. I have to say, just for a few of you, you could definitely, <laughs> the manifestation coming could definitely be pregnancy, I'm just saying. You or someone around you. And it just, it's like, it puts everything into perspective. It turns everything around. This could also just be the birth of a manifestation of any kind, but I definitely see pregnancy for some people here. It's beautiful. Quarantine babies, huh? <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love it. Nice, Gemini. You don't see it coming. That's what I'm saying. Release whatever this devil energy is for you. Quiet the mind, do lots of meditation, go within, get really clear on what you want, exactly how you want it, you know, for the whole manifestation process. And you will not see this coming. Everything will turn around, baby, in a positive way. I love it. Just realizing, like, you, it happens and you don't realize that it's happening slowly. And then one day you wake up and you're like, oh, my God, my whole perspective has changed. I feel so much better about this. It's, it's really nice. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's pull you some Moonology advice. But really nice, Gemini, as always. That's so cute. All right, let's get a couple shuffles. Mm. One more. Gemini, what is the advice for this week regarding this spread, please? What is the advice for Gemini for this week? Your hard work is paying off. Waxing crescent moon. Let me read that for you real quick. Sorry. Oh my God. Why did I say that? That's not what it says. It says have faith in your dreams. I don't know why I said your hard work is paying off. Must have been a message. Take it. That's funny. Okay. Waxing crescent moon 26. Have faith in your dreams. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the waxing crescent moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about the best next step. Yes. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. Yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you for the confirmation, Moonology. You see, 
meditate, 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 allow your higher self to download the information to you to shift your perspective and it's such a positive outcome, I see that here and you're not even going to see it coming, beautiful, okay, let's finish off with some romance angels for you, my Gemini, but love it, very happy for you, nice week ahead, beautiful, Gemini in love. One more shuffle. Okay. What is the advice? What's the energy? What's the vibe in love for my Gemini this week, please? Gemini and love. Gemini. Ooh, thank you. Okay, we have three. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have <clears throat> engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Look at this. Look at the beautiful energy we go from some kind of toxic ass devil dick negative energy whatever that is releasing ourselves from that the challenge is to get really clear meditate go inwards find out what our personal values are what we really want and then boom does the manifestation come in we don't even see it coming shift of perspective suddenly we're so optimistic about something for some of you it's pregnancy Maybe that's why we're getting engaged. I don't know. And then the love energy is just beautiful too. Strong magnetic attraction. Love life ascending to a higher level of commitment. Religious factors take that part how it resonates. But Gemini, really, really nice overall. Love it for you. I hope that gives you some clarity for the week ahead. If it does resonate, Gemini, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear your stories. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. And until your next reading, I wish you a beautiful week ahead. Take care. Bye.